First, an earthquake shakes East Tennessee. The U.S. Geological Survey reporting the 3.8 magnitude earthquake. The epicenter, Fincastle, which is in Campbell County. Now, viewers from all over East Tennessee telling us they either heard or felt it from Knox County, Kentucky, as far south as Sweetwater, Tennessee. Fortunately, there was no reported major damage and no reported injuries. WAT 6 on side reporter Kirsty Crawford, though, went out to the epicenter. She joins us now here in the studio. So, Kirsty, what are people saying about their experience today? Well, Bo, those residents tell me they were pretty rattled at first, hearing a loud boom followed by some shaking. You can only imagine what they thought it right. was. Now, people say it sounded like anything from a, a plane flying close to fireworks to even a propane tank exploding. Fortunately, none of that happened. It was just like, duh, 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 and then it was completely just over. Did you hear it? Did you feel it? That was the 3.8 earthquake in Fincastle, the second one in two days. The epicenter near several homes. Fortunately, none of them reportedly damaged. I live on the West Bowman Circle. And uh, the earthquake apparently happened on East Bowman Circle, which is adjacent to, to where we live now. Definitely failed it, didn't we, boys, today? And uh, it was kind of scary. It was the talk of Campbell County. Only a few people saying they didn't feel it. But if they didn't, they sure heard about it. My husband's friend, his wife said that the salt shaker and the pepper shaker came flying off the oven. The shaking felt across East Tennessee. I just thought that it was just a whole body was like, moving and just I was I was like a little confused I'm like is this me doing it or I thought I was like imagining or losing my mind or something. Many viewers like Myra Cheek responding to the reported section on our website telling us she felt it in Knoxville her windows rattling and hearing rumbles of thunder. This earthquake one of few recorded in East Tennessee with a magnitude more than 3.5. The sound and feeling you might not be able to shake out of your memory for a while. It was a good learning experience, I guess, for our kids to get to feel something that probably they won't, hopefully they won't feel again for a long, long time. Now, earthquakes are fairly common in East Tennessee. According to the U.S. Geological Survey data, we've had at least 12 in the last year. This one today was the largest since the 4.4 near Decatur in 2018. So. All right, Kirsty, thank you very much. And this isn't the first earthquake we've had in the Fincastle area recently. Let's get more details. Six on your side, meteorologist Matt Hinkin joining us now with more on that. Hey, Matt. Yeah, we've got uh, one of those areas in Campbell County that are pretty close to each other. We've seen a couple of different ones, and you saw these 2.8 yesterday and the 3.8 today. So that's pretty significant to have two earthquakes right next to each other. If you're not sure where this is, it's just outside La Follette as you go up toward Middlesbrough, and it's 3.8 we recorded today, and then, of course, that 2.8. So we most of the time, we get earthquakes and we get quite a few of each every year most of them you don't even feel them but uh, every once in a while you get one like this that you feel and it kind of raises your attention so 3.8 is where it is in relation to Caraville, Knoxville down here, Caraville, La Follette, Angelico and it's not uncommon part of the reason because we see we live in a seismic zone here in East Tennessee don't get as many earthquakes as they do out on the west side of the country but uh, those the kind that we get today kind of kind of scary it every area of the East Tennessee fault zone this doesn't mean we have more earthquakes it just means we're unsettled here we're going to talk more about that in the future as well but East Tennessee seismic zone may see some more earthquakes down the pike we're not going to forecast that but they'll be there eventually our forecast does include some cold temperatures but a bit of a warming trend more on that's coming up in a few minutes Bo. all right Matt thank you so just when will another earthquake happen? A lot of you have been asking. Will UT Geology professor Dr. Robert Hatcher tells us there's really no way to know. There have been various hypotheses proposed to try to explain that, but uh, uh, we, we don't know. This is something that we've not been able to predict. And the U.S. Geological Survey still collecting information, by the way, on this afternoon's quake. Matter of fact, the agency setting up this form online where you can take part and become a citizen scientist, sharing your experience with what you felt, where and if you noticed any damage. Uh, thousands of responses have already come in since this afternoon's earthquake. Matter of fact, we've posted a link so that you can submit your report. Just go to WAT.com and click the As Seen On section.